Hey, Chris, so you're a termite expert and you're going to help us with our problem. Yes, sir. And to me, it looks like a pretty serious problem. It definitely is. This house has had massive termite damage. And you can actually see from the studs themselves, you can actually yeah. see the dirt coming up. Yeah, the dirts are caused by them. I mean, they just leave this little debris behind. Yep, these are subterranean termites, so they actually have to come from the ground up to the house, which is why they actually bring the dirt with them. I see. They have to maintain a certain moisture content to survive. So this is the sill that was taken out. Now, it, does, it looks pretty bad, but when you turn it over, oh my gosh, that is yeah, really Yeah, they have basically bad. shredded this whole thing. Yeah. It's actually quite amazing because you can see down here where it was the original size and they've whittled it down all the way to this. Okay, so now the new sill is pressure treated. Is that gonna protect us against the termites? It will help, but it's not going to completely prevent termites uh, getting into the structure. So, so you're still gonna have to treat that? Yes, we still will definitely have to treat it. So here's a piece of the uh, sill was cut out. Yep, and you can actually see, you can see the mud tubes that are on it, but yep. it looks pretty, you know, looks pretty sturdy, still seems pretty solid. But if you come over here, this is actually what it looks on the oh inside. Oh boy. Yeah, they just get in there and they just eat what they want to eat, don't they? Yeah, they just had field day in here. And you could see this all day in different termite situations where you can have, <laughs> you can have wood that looks solid, but is definitely not structurally sound. Yeah, you can't see the damage. They do a massive amount of damage. All right, so how are you gonna treat them? All right, so basically what we have to do to treat them we have to employ several different uh, methods. What we need to do is we actually need to do a chemical treatment, a liquid treatment around the base of the house. So in the ground? In the ground. What yep. we do is we actually dig a trench, six inch by six inch, and we actually fill that trench with the termiticide. Mm -hmm. And so that's the initial treatment. Then what we actually have to do is when they finish replacing all the wood that they're gonna replace in there, we actually go in there with a chemical, uh, it's a borate chemical. So all the new stuff will get yep. treated also. Yep. So what are you doing with the new uh, foundation out there where it's block? Well, what we're gonna have to do out here is basically we're gonna have to trench, uh, do a six inch by six inch trench. Around all of them? Yep, around the base of all of them. And then we're actually gonna have to fill the interior because it's not poured yet with, with termiticide. I see. So then you'll treat that in there and then they'll fill it with concrete and then that'll protect any termites from coming up inside because that's out of the sunlight in there. Yeah, because uh, they'll only need is a small crack. So if we did not treat this and there was a small crack in that concrete once it dried, they could just come right up to the house. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> All right. Well, great. I can highly wait to see you do some work here. All right. Thank you. All right. So what do you think, Tommy? About as bad as we've ever seen in terms of termite damage? It is pretty bad. And down here in Charleston, according to Chris, it's not a question if your house has termites, the question is when will they have termites? Well, when you see that kind of damage, it really makes you want to think about getting the treatment. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.